In this video, I'm going to show you how to make selection sets. And a selection set is a great way to make a selection of objects or components and always be able to come back to them and make that selection again without having to reselect it manually. So as a quick example, here is a large scene with a bunch of objects that I have. And I made a couple of selections to show you what that means. So I'm going to open up the outliner and I have a couple of selection sets already made. One is for objects. So within the scene somewhere I have a set of objects that are door parts and I want to be able to select them really quick without having to find them and having to select them again. So because I made the selection set, I can come over here, choose the selection set, right click on it and then select set members and it will select those objects. Now these are individual objects that are not combined. So you can see there are individual objects here. But because I have a selection set, I can make a quick selection that I already made before. And you can also do the same thing to components, faces, vertices, edges, UVs. So I'm going to deselect it. And for a set of stairs, I have a set of faces already selected. And I don't want to have to go through it and have it to reselect them again. So I made a selection set of faces. I'm going to simply select that set and select the components within it. And here I have edges on the stairs, the faces themselves already reselected. So you make a selection once, save that selection set. And then you can always reselect those components anytime you need to. Great way to save a lot of time. So here's how to do this. I'm going to use a simpler scene to show you this. So you can have a selection set that's made up of objects or individual components. And I'm going to show you both. I'm going to start with the objects first. So let's say I want to have two of these objects, the sphere and the cube, as part of a selection set that I can select at any time. Again, you can have two or more objects within it, and then you can always add to your selection set or remove from it. So I'm going to select the objects that I want within a selection set, and there are two ways to create a selection set. Go up to Create, and I'm going to peel off this menu so we always have it floating. And then you go down to Sets. And then you can create a set or a quick select set. The difference between the two all has to do with partitions. And a partition is a collection of sets. And a partition prevents these sets within the partition from having any overlapping members. And this mainly has to do if you're using sets for animation, for deformation. And if you are, you may want to only work with sets. For us, and the way I use selection sets is only for modeling and only for making selections. I don't deal with deformations and I don't work with animation. So for us, whether we work with sets or quick select sets, there is no difference. They are exactly the same. It's only when you get into more of the animation and deformation, you may want to look into it further. So for us, either one will work, but for the sake of examples, I'll be using both. So I'm going to create a set of these two objects. And if I click set, it will be created, or I can go in the option menu and define the name of the set. I'm simply going to close it. And I'm just going to make sure that the objects are selected and I'm just going to go to sets and create a set. The default name of set one will be created. And now these two objects are part of a selection set. The way you get to that set is by going to the outliner. And this is where all the selection sets are being made. And it's also where you get to select objects as well as add or remove any objects. So let's open up the outliner and you can see set one has been created. If you want to select the objects that you just added, simply right click on it and choose select set members. They will be selected. If you open this up, you'll see they have sphere and cube as part of that selection set. If you want to rename it, just simply double click on set one and rename it. I usually like to give a name of SEL so I can always find it and know that it's a selection underscore and then just give it a name. Let's do objects. And now you have a selection set of two objects. Let's do the same thing, but for components. I'm going to select the sphere, go to faces, and let's say I want to have a bunch of faces that I make a selection of and always come back to it so I don't have to reselect it. The more complex your selection is, the better it will be because you don't have to reselect those faces or in this case faces, but you can do the same thing to vertices, edges, as well as UVs. So I have a set of faces selected, go to create and then sets and let's create another set. I'm going to go ahead, deselect it. And now we have a second selection, but in this case it's components and a selection of faces. If I open this up, you can see all these components have been added into that selection set. And if you want to make that selection again, simply right click on that selection set in the outliner and choose select set members and the faces have been selected. Now my object is not selected. So if you want to have that uh, faces component mode enabled, just go into that object, go to faces and then go back to the outliner, right click on the set then choose select set members. And now you can do whatever you want with these faces and continue working with them.
Now let's go a little deeper and go through some of the options you have when you do have a selection set. So I'm going to go back to object mode and let's say you want to delete a selection set. Just simply select it inside the outliner. Let's do this for the set one for the faces. Click delete. This will only delete the node, the selection set itself, but not the faces on it. Let me go ahead and undo and uh, we can do the same thing to objects. When you select a selection set and delete it, does not delete the objects, only the selection set. Now, if you go into the selection set and select, let's go into the objects first. Open that up. We have two objects in it. If you select the object within the selection set, it will select that object. And if you hit delete now, it will delete that object. So just be careful knowing what you are making a selection of. Is that a selection set or an object within it, which will delete that object. If you want to remove or add an object into a selection set, it's very easy. Again, this has to be done inside the outliner. So if I want to remove the cube, I just simply select the cube inside the selection set, right click on it, go to sets, add selection to a set or remove selection to a set. Let's remove it. So I'm going to select the set itself that I am removing this object from. And now I only have the sphere. If I want to add these two objects or one object, just select them, right click on the outliner, go to sets, and then add selection to a set. And in this case, we're going to choose select objects. And now they have been added. Now, when it comes to faces, if you want to add a face or remove a face from that selection, uh, you should actually make another selection and then save it as a new selection set. So if you select any of these faces, if you right click on it, you can't remove or add that face into a selection set. So you should create a new one, make a new selection and create a new set. If I go ahead and select any of these faces, you can see they are being selected. If I delete them, that face will be gone. So if I want to delete the entire set, just select it and then hit delete. The faces are still there, but the set is gone. And again, if you want to rename that set, just simply double click on it and give it a new name. When you have a lot of objects here inside the outliner, you can actually only display sets. So if you give a proper name, such as I did for SEL, you can search for it and uh, selection sets will come up. This is a great way renaming it with a way that you can search a lot faster. If not, you can go to show objects and choose sets. And this will only display the sets within the outliner that you have. Let's go ahead and clear this. Another menu I want to show you if you want to get more involved in selection sets and go deeper into them, there is a relationship set editor that you can use. So instead of using the outliner, which is that's what I always use, and I don't deal with the relationship editor, but to take it a step further, let me go ahead and close this. If you go to Windows, Relationship Editors, we have a set relationship editor. Open this up, and here are your selection sets. And when you select a selection set on the left hand side, this will display which objects are a part of it. So this is more of a sticky menu. This is not something you left click, hold and drag things into like a folder. It simply selects the objects that are already within a selected set. And you can remove it from here by left clicking on an object on the right hand side. So now the cylinder has been removed or you can add things into it. So let me go ahead and remove the cylinder. And to show you that it's true, if you right click on the selection set objects, you have a same set of menu here, set select set members. It will select the two objects, but not the cylinder. If you want to add that cylinder, just make sure the selection set is selected and just add the objects you want to have a part of it. And now the cylinder has been added. If I deselect it and reselect it, it's all a part of it now. So this is more of an involved menu if you want to start using it for easier way to make selections and uh, removing objects. Outliner is usually enough. And the last thing I want to show you is a quick selection set, which is the same thing as sets, but it just gives you a quicker way of making selections of those sets as well as renaming them. And that's what I usually prefer to use. So I'm going to go to the outliner. I'm just going to delete the two selection sets that I made. So now we have no selection sets. So I'm going to make a, a selection of objects that I want to have as part of a selection set. Then go to create sets. And in this case, I'm going to choose quick select set. Menu will pop up for me to name it. So this way there is a menu right away so you can name it and you don't have to go to the outliner. Rename it anything you want. I'm going to choose select underscore objects. And here you can actually add this selection as an icon to your shelf, whatever active shelf you have open. So there'll be an icon right here for you to left click and make that selection very quickly without having to go into the menu. And you can do this again for objects or for components. So I'm going to not add to a shelf at the moment. Just click OK. And now we have a selection set for these two objects. Again, you can go to Outliner and make that selection. Or you can go to Select 
and you will have a new menu that was not available if you chose sets. But because we're using quick selection sets, you have quick select sets and here's our select set for objects. So this way we have a drop down menu to make a quick selection of those sets. And now also let's do the same thing for components. In this case, I'm going to just select a bunch of vertices. Just let's say these set of vertices, go to create, then go to sets and make a quick selection set. In this case, I'm gonna name it, select vertex selection or whatever the name you would want to have. And in this case, I'm just gonna add to a shelf. So now I have a selection, an icon in my active shelf. Let's go back to object. I also have the same selection right here inside the outliner. And if I want to have the very C selected, I just let me switch over to vertex component mode and then enable my icon in the shelf or in the outliner and make a selection. So now I am within the vertex component mode, I'm making a selection and those vertices are selected for me to work with. So this is a great way to speed up your selections and have ability to come back to that selection and reselect it again. Saves a lot of time, especially for components. Now selection sets are just a small part of the bigger picture in Maya. And if you want to dive deep into learning Maya for modeling and UVN, specifically for environments and props, take a look at this in-depth tutorial course, Maya Foundation. It is the home study course that will show you everything you need to begin modeling and to begin UV in your objects completely from scratch and includes 65 videos and 18 hours of in-depth instructional information.